Where's my mom? <laughs> yeah. Can I borrow the car this Saturday? What for? I need some books from the library. I work a double shift Saturday. Can't wait. Okay. Listen, I don't know who you're with or how you got my number, but you have no idea the troubles you're getting into. I know you think this is some kind of fun, scary story or something, but it's not. Real people have died over this. You want it, you got it. Boy! All right, Hatch. It's time you get with the program. Fuck that! Crossroads don't get on nobody's program! Well, then maybe I can help change your mind. Bro. Yeah, maybe they caught traffic. In a city that was nuked ten years ago? Really? Traffic? I don't know, I'm just thinking. Well, stop it, you're embarrassing yourself. You know how expensive those guys are? You know that's coming out of your department, right? Jax Curtis, you're under arrest. <laughs> you're a ranger? Put your hands on your head, get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. No. One last time, Jax. Get down on your knees. All right, I warned you. Yes, more than you know. What is it you think I can help you with? All I got is it's run by some guy named Crow. Crow? Boy, I ain't got no time for those stories. Last I heard, Crow's a dead man. What do you want me to do about it? Oh, Hatchet. I need anything. Anything that I can want. Tell me something. Tell you what I know, Ryan. But it's gonna be up to what you believe. What the fuck? There's a storm brewing, boys. I want you to be ready. It's going down tonight. Let's go! Let's go! Let's roll! But tonight hasn't, you know, exactly been a normal night. Evening, folks. Jeez! How are we doing tonight? Thank God you were coming in tonight. <laughs> it's been a crazy one. Really? What's going on? Sharice will fill you in. All right. All right, thanks, Jean. Cherise, let me know if Dennis comes up with anything. Yes, sir. All right. I was in court one time before for a speeding ticket. It was actually pretty simple. I paid the fine and I was out in less than 30 minutes. That's only because the judge and court reporter there weren't having an affair. And that judge didn't promise he'd leave his wife over and over for eight years, which apparently causes tension between the two. Lots of tension. And I don't remember a gavel being thrown. Oh, hell no, you don't throw a gavel at me! And I don't remember the little Mexican woman with the chair. Looks like neither of y'all have any priors, which is good. But armed robbery is not something we take lightly here, so I'm not going to give you just a slap on the wrist. Bell be set at 10000 apiece. 